Stage 11. Oh yeah. Freestyle isn't as hard as you thought it would be, right? So with all the knowledge we have obtained from the beginning up until now, let's tackle something harder. A technical drawing. Now that's a worthy opponent. We're going to render this graphics card. The hard part is that this card will be rendered with a turntable animation. Thus, freestyle lines will be rendered at many angles. How are we going to solve this? Well, before anything, because freestyle is geometry line art, let's check out the geometries which produce the overall graphics card. It's a mixture of curve and mesh objects. Our goal is to render each group of objects in different colors. So to do that, we have to add objects to groups. Each group will then have its own line set and line style with a unique color assigned. Of course, you can have more than just colors to differentiate groups of objects, but the goal of this stage is to show you how groups are used as a way to set different line styles, plus how to manage a render with many objects and to show you one method of workflow, as well as to show you some of the problems you may face and how they're solved. Back to the graphics card. All objects are parented for easy animation. To select children from a parent quickly, use Shift-G, then select children, and reselect the parent object. The good thing is, most parents are the bigger objects. But how on earth can we know which objects are the parents? Tip number one, to identify which object is a parent, look at the properties panel. Display, select relationship line. These lines will converge at the parent object. Tip number two, another way to identify the parent is to look at the outliner. Parent objects are always at the top of the hierarchy. Select it, then shift G, parent, then RMB to select the parent. Tip three, on the outliner, you can select the parent object and right click, select hierarchy. The parent and children objects are selected. There's always more than one way to skin, uh, well let's not go there again, to select stuff in Blender. So there you have it, three methods to find a parent object and its children, and at least they're not lost. Now we need to group the objects. Let's select using the third method, the outliner hierarchy selection. The first group is shrouds and fans. Control G to make this a group and rename the group to shroud fans. Then we move the group to layer two. Another tip, we isolate the objects to their own layer so that later we can test render them individually. By test rendering them in isolation, we can iron out problems. This is the same method one uses to test lighting. By the isolation method, the problem is smaller and hence easier to solve. For the heat sink, heat pipes, and heat fins group, the parent is heatsink.x.a. Now why the weird suffix? Well, Mr. Light has made many heat sink designs, and this graphics card is actually one of them. Select everything for the heat sink group. Group it and rename it to heat sink fins. Now move the group to layer three. We have four more groups and the process is the same, so let's fast forward. Group IC, parent, chip.001, group name, GPU chip, move to layer four, RAM IC's parent, RAM chip, group name, RAM, move to layer five, PCB and miscellaneous components, parent, PCB, group name, PCB components, move to layer six, back panel and IO, parent, backplate full, Group name, pack panel, IO. Don't move the layer. Now we're done with grouping, so we'll use frame number 60 to test our render. The next part will be a little repetitive too. What I'll do is set up the line sets and line styles. And so as not to bore you, time lapse mode. Now to change layers quickly, Use the number keys below the function keys, function keys being F1 to F12. Sometimes we need to highlight a certain part of the render. We can do it by thickening the outside silhouette. To do it, we create a new line set with the edge type contour or external contour with more line thickness. Make sure you select the appropriate object group too. And more tips. Looks like this stage has more tips than the previous, but the next stage you'll have even more. All right. This tip has to do with the B-Mesh system. Most of the time, edges won't show up on extruded curve objects. The cause is that B-Mesh creates a zero surface area face, also known as degenerative triangles at the edge of the mesh. So crease can't see the edges because it's a freaking face there. It's like Freestyle says, duh, face is here. No edge, sir, skip the line drawing. Being masters, we have a solution for that. Add edge split modifier with all angle edge and sharp edge off. 
the modifier will remesh the extruded curve, so the zero area faces are gone from view. To arrive at our goal, there should be a final render, right? Well, turn on layer 1 to 6 and F12 it all. With the magic of video editing, we're done! Alright, now remember when playing Street Fighter, Tekken, or any fighting game, and suddenly your brother or sister hit start on their second controller? Well, this is one of those situations. I just press start on your Player 2 controller. Time for a challenge. And here it is. Begin from a fresh start file. Edge the graphics card on frame 28. You might need to solve some missing lines. Clue, cut through. Answer, somewhere in the done file. Also, how about showing hidden lines on the shroud and fans group? And try to emphasize the GPU chip. Do this challenge and follow the demo for frame 60. We know the process can be time consuming, but once you understand why they are done as such, you'll pick up speed. And maybe you'll create your own workflow. It's totally worth it. What to take away from this stage? Well, patience is a virtue. The process is time consuming, but simple. Plan a few steps ahead to lessen headaches and separate objects line styles with groups. Time to move. No freestyle line rendering will be in the next stage. We just like to talk. Maybe we'll even sing a little too. 